now that we have our lobby pretty much good to go for the most part, aside from a few things, we can go ahead and set up the starting of the session. So what I mean by that is when we hit start game, we're going to load the selected map and just everyone's going to kind of just join it, so to speak. So in order to do that, we need to disconnect all the clients and tell them, okay, we're starting the session, go ahead and make a full connection, and then we're going to join. So we're going to have our classes open, our game instance, beacon host object, and beacon client. So in our beacon host object, let's create a new function under, let's see, that's all lobby related. Let's do it down here under disconnect client. We're going to do new function, blueprint callable. We're going to do void start server. Let's see, parameter is going to be an F string map URL. Going to make it a reference. Now, if I recall, I had issues without it being constants. So we have our start server. Let's create the definition. Okay, here we are. So what we need to do here is we need to pretty much call a client RPC on all the clients and you know, from there we're going to disconnect them, shut down the server, and perform a server travel. So in our beacon client class, let's copy this client RPC. We're gonna make another one. Let's call this one full connect. Then create the implementation. And here we have it. So what I want to do here, I want to create a blueprint event that's simply going to fire and tell us to pass in our lobby. Let's see, actually, do we have our lobby address or anything information set? We do not. So let's see, we might go a different route than a blueprint event. So I guess we can do an, we can create a blueprint function that just sets a variable. Let's see, do you want to do that? Yeah, let's just stick to the blueprint event. So I'm going to copy our F disconnected because we need no parameters and change it to F will connect. Then create the blueprint implementable. We F full connect and F on full connect. Okay. Then in let's go to the implementation. What we're going to do is we're going to call leave lobby, which is that function made down here. Then we're going to do our event to broadcast. So that way it'll fire. So now in our beacon host object, we can do, we're gonna loop through all the clients. So I'm gonna copy this for loop right here that already does that. And we're simply going to call on the client, client underscore full connect, like so. Then after all those are done, we're gonna shut down server, which is another function we've made in the past. Uh, right here. Then we are going to get access to our game instance and perform a server travel. Well, actually, we don't really need to do that. We can do just. Now it's under get world. Server travel. And we have the URL. So that's going to be map. URL plus question mark listen. 
and the next parameter, we can ignore the rest. So now that I've just thought about doing this a different way, we're going to make this f string a constant reference. like so. So we don't actually have to create a copy. And let's see, I think we are pretty much good. I want to create one more function in the beacon client. Let's do view function blueprint callable. You can do void pool connect to server. It's going to be a const f string join address okay, head over to it right here and from here i'm going to actually move this up to the function we created so on full connect what i'm going to do is let's see we got to get world get first player controller. I'm going to put that in an if statement. So if a player controller PC do PC server or client travel. That's going to be the join address e travel type absolute and the other parameters we don't need to worry about so that is blueprint callable yep so let's compile so when our on full connect uh, event fires we call full connect to server Okay. Add to our main menu. And let's get started. So go to our host, start game. Let's create an on clicked event for that button. Let's get our host beacon. Make sure it's valid. We're going to do start server. As you can see, it takes in a map URL. So what we're going to do is get under info, host current map. We're going to break it and get the map URL. Okay. Next, what we need to do is if we, uh, for example, in our solo bra server browser item, when we click the button, what we do is we call a function called join lobby that is on our main menu. And we look in it, we have our join address. So we want to store that. So I'm going to create a new variable. Call this one join address. And it's going to be a string. And under the info category. I'm simply going to set it like so. And scroll to where we connect. So here we have connect to lobby. So here's where we're going to bind our event. So the last link is here where we bind it. So we're going to do search for full connect, bind event to F on full connect. Add a custom event, call it on full connect. And what we want to do here is we'll set function called full connect to server. And we're going to get the join address and pass it. So I'm going to print a string. 
making full connection. Set it there for 10 seconds. Okay. Let's see if this works and what's probably going to break. There's the game. This one's the host. This one's the client. Let's join it. So start game. We're in. Making full connection. Ah, that's right. We destroy it. So we need to do that before we destroy the beacon. That's something I did not take into consideration. So what I'm going to do instead Instead of calling leave lobby, which destroys our beacon, I'm going to broadcast that event. So we'll connect dot broadcast. Then I'm going to call, well, regardless, I'm going to call leave lobby. So we should be able to make the or, uh, call full connect to server. And then we go ahead and destroy our beacon because it is no longer necessary. Okay. Let's see, client, server. Let's go ahead and start it. Well, here's the server, and here's the connecting client. All right. So make sure we can see it move. So I'm going to go all the way back to the wall. It's all the way back at the wall. I'm going to run up to him. And as you can see, everything is set up properly. So we're on map one, which is the empty map. So out of curiosity, I'm just going to triple check and make sure that we can go from map one to map two, even though it should be completely fine. Start it, map two with all our objects, and here we are. So that was quite an involved process and as you saw when I uh, actually I closed it a little fast but whenever we like the host leaves for example we get disconnected to the main menu so I'm going to start it wait for him to connect up I'm going to alt F4 and we left refresh there's no service there obviously and our client beacon is pretty much we already destroyed it, so whenever we do make the full server travel, we should not see the client, we should not see uh, the host beacon anymore. So I want to test that real quick. I did, I gotta open up another client, I thought I opened two. Right, so here I have the server entry. I'm going to start the game. I'm going to refresh. And as you can see, the server entry is gone. So once we actually start the session, we no longer have to worry about people trying to join late. And that's what we want. So I'm not sure how long this video was. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. And hopefully it was easy to follow along. But now we have a way to actually join our maps with other clients. So from there, we can pretty much do everything like we would as normal, which is good. So now that that's one big thing out of the way, I will see you in the next one where I'm not sure if we're going to continue on the uh, menus or lobby system or not. I got to see if there's if anything else comes to mind. I'm kind of drawing a blank here. But if nothing else comes to mind, 
I guess we will start working on our actual gameplay. So, the, we're nearly done with quite a big chapter of this tutorial series, because the main menu, beacons, and setting up our own web API, that's a fairly big undertaking. So, hopefully you learned something, and I will see you in the next one.